Welcome back, my brave listeners, to Stories Philippines podcast. I'm your host, Paul, ready to transport you into a realm where the veil between our world and the unknown is thin. Tonight's episode is titled The Unseen Gaze, and it's a tale that might just have you second-guessing what's really around you. Our story begins with a girl named Bea and her boyfriend Kiko. Bea isn't the best storyteller, but her experiences are too eerie not to share. Kiko, with his unique ability, sees things that others can't. His third eye has been wide open since he was a kid. Whether it's the white lady behind their old house in the guava orchard, or the TV switching on and off when he's home alone, nothing seems to faze him. He's witnessed violent sights, like a friend getting hurt during a gang fight, and he's even seen ghostly kids playing on the stairs of their large family home. Gruesome as it might be, he spotted headless friends of his mom, and even his grandmother paid him a visit after passing away. To Kiko, these chilling sights are just part of his day-to-day -day life. But there was one night that truly shook him. During a funeral visit with his mom to honor a departed family friend, Kiko peeked into the coffin and to his horror, the eyes of the deceased popped open, wide and staring straight at him. When he dared to look again, the body had vanished from the casket. His mom, unaware of his third eye, brushed off his fear, thinking he was just spooked by the somber setting. Since that encounter, Kiko vowed never to glance into a coffin again. Flash forward to when Bea and Kiko were just fresh in their relationship, about five months in. They were night owls, often staying up until the wee hours of the morning working on their projects. No funny business, mind you. One fateful night, around 1.30 a.m., they decided to brew some coffee, as was their custom. By 3 a.m., as they sat in the stillness of the night, the unspeakable happened. Their empty coffee glass, sitting idle on the table, started stirring on its own. The unmistakable aroma of coffee filled the air, although they had made sure not a single drop was left. Terrified, Bia urged Kiko to check it out. He saw nothing amiss. The next morning, they recounted the event to Bia's parents, only for her grandmother to explain calmly, Oh, that must be your uncle reminding us he's still around, especially since he's close to passing on. Kiko has a trove of scary experiences, but those stories will have to wait for another day. Despite the haunts and whispers, he remains unfazed, accustomed to a life where the extraordinary is just ordinary. So, listeners, here's a little wisdom from our story tonight. There are those among us who see beyond the realm of the living, and whether we believe it or not, a little understanding goes a long way. Be kind, be brave, and remember, sometimes the unknown just wants to be acknowledged. Thank you for joining me on this ghostly journey, and I hope you enjoyed the unseen gaze here on the Stories Philippines podcast. This is Paul, Saul, signing off and reminding you to keep your eyes open and your spirits up. Sleep tight, and let's meet again in the safety of daylight. <laughs>